with my artist trading coins. These are the ones that I got from Joggles and they're the two inch and two and a half inch watercolor AT coins. And one side is uh, smooth and the other side is a little bit bumpy. And I really, really love having these as opposed to having to make them. And so I thought I wanted to figure out a way that I could combine these two together for an artist trading coin. And I think I've come up with an idea, a couple of ideas. So let me show you the first one. As you saw in the opening, I just hung them on the Christmas tree. I just made them ornaments. So I used the two and a half inch and the two inch. And it was as simple as adding some images, find something you like, and I put paper behind them. I added some washi tape, did some doodling. Um, just if you have any sticker books that have phrases or images that you like, uh, this again had found an image, I put paper, had a sticker, and some washi tape. And the same thing here, I had a little sticker, cut out the word believe. And I think they look really cute on the tree. And all I did to make these was just put my images down, did all of the finish work, and then I took my crop -a dial on the smallest setting and punched a hole. And if you have a hand punch, that's fine too. Anything that can put punch a hole. And then I took a piece of twine and ran it through there. And I didn't do it on these, but if if you wanted to, you could also put the stamp on the back so you'd have the date of when you made these. And that would work out great. So that's one idea in addition to just trading them. Now, if you're going to trade them, I would recommend that you stick to the two and a half inch size because that's the standard for artist trading cards and coins. Um, and if you want to make it a, an ornament, Maybe you just want to take this off and stick it in the envelope so that it's not bumpy because once you have a bumpy envelope, your postage goes up. So just an idea. One other thing I wanted to mention about these coins, if you don't happen to have punches in all the different sizes, the coins are really nice because there's an easy way to cut the, the paper that you put on top. So what I do is I still work in that square format and I continue to use my template to audition how things look once I have the square done so that I know where I want to cut it. And I would just glue it down to the circle. What I like to do then is use just an X-Acto knife and a self-healing mat. And because these coins are so thick, it's very easy to just go right around the edge and use, put your exacto knife right up to the edge of that coin and it cuts very nicely. You can use scissors as well but I find the exacto knife works great. I love these disposable ones because you always will have a sharp blade. You can just snap off that edge and then you have a new one that's nice and sharp and ready to go. So just a little tip that helps you when you're working on these coins and you have things hanging over the edge and you want to trim them off. So the other idea I had was to do this like an advent calendar. Now I made these into coins, but, or into ornaments that you could hang on a tree, but here's just a regular coin as well. And so I thought this would be fun to use like for an advent calendar. And then what I did was put the date and just sort of decorated it on the front. And then I put it on a swivel and there's the little surprise behind. So it's sort of like opening a door and you could do it that way. Here's one that's more traditional. And this came, the one came from a paper pad that had one through 25 in it. So you could do that as well. These were just rub-ons. Um, here's another one that I decorated up and then I added a little tag. And then when you open that up, there it is. And then this one is just a little bit different in that I scored the two inch coin at a half inch. And then I just glued it down and you can open it up that way. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of maybe mix them up. So this is nothing more than, again, punching a hole just like I did on the top of the coins. And then I stuck a brad in it so that it can swivel. And that brad you can see right on the opposite side. Uh, and that was it. That's how simple those are. 
but I think they're really cute. They'd be fun to, to actually trade. Um, and you could put something on the front here and then reveal the fun image below that or behind it. So a couple of ideas that will get you going for your Christmas holiday. We're going to be having a swap on artist trading coins and I'll leave the link in the description box below. Right now we have a Hanukkah swap going on and it will be open, signups will be open through November 4th with coins being traded by November 20th. Then we're going to start uh, the Halloween, the Christmas swap and we'll have two different swaps. One will be religious and the other will be Christmas in general. So we'll have those two swaps going on. So if you think you might want to do something like that, come on over to the Facebook group and join and have fun in our swaps. So that's what I've got for today. Super easy projects. You could sit down and bang a lot of these out in no time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.